Okay, this is a uh, another uh, passageway indoor header uh, that they're called, and it's uh, coming in off the main shaft indoor slope uh, of this mine. And this particular section of the mine goes back to the late 1890s. And uh, <clears throat> you can see how they did the V-shaped roof right there for extra support. And uh, this right here is one of the most interesting. Uh, this is what you call, I mean, it's so big, the light's really not going to do really too much good. And this is, these are good lights. But this is what you call a stope, a large stope right there. You can actually see the uh, drill marks right there that they were drilling actually up. And this is the ore seam. It's uh, about a good 20, 22 feet thick. And you can see where they were just cutting right into the ore seam. And you can see they just hollowed it out right here. And uh, there's another one right uh, joining on the other side of this wall. But uh, from here up, that's from where I'm standing, that's about a good uh, 50, 60 feet up there. So, but uh, this was some serious mining right here. But uh, this was a really thick seam of ore. And you can just see how they just took it out right here. So, all right, and there's another one just right around the corner over here. And of course, the uh, passageway just keeps leading. It'll go for another thousand feet if you choose to follow it. But uh, we'll just go around the corner right here and video this. So, all this was done by uh, uh, drills, dynamite, and uh, just pure pure manpower back then to get all this ore out so okay and we'll go right here right around the corner to the next one okay that's where uh, we were just a few minutes ago and uh, this is the other stope. It's not as it's not as uh, big as the other one, but it's just as high. You can see way up there the drill marks. And you can see where there's uh, starting to be a subsidence uh, coming in. Uh, that's water, and about another that was to keep going about another 200 feet, 150, 200 feet. You'd be at the surface. So, but. Uh, that right there, one day that'll open up into a hole if it keeps going into this mine. But uh, anyway, but uh, there's a, there actually is another one right over here. But these were the two biggest ones here. And uh, just dynamite and uh, air drills, compressors. Uh, compressor drills but uh, anyway pretty impressive it's like a gallery in here so okay and uh, check out a few more things and make our way back uh, to the main shaft there all right Okay, this is the uh, last one we're going to check out before we head back. You can uh, see the uh, drill drill marks right there. And uh, this is the last one. This is a smaller stove, but it does have a uh, still intact wooden, wooden timber slash tree support. Probably put in here about 130 years ago or more. But uh, there was a uh, another... Another uh, passageway up above, that's what's called a breakthrough, and that's actually caved in. But, uh, but this was a uh, smaller, 
uh, stope in the mine. You can see they just uh, they just took out the uh, the available ore in the seam, which is a little bit smaller. So, but uh, that's impressive. It's still in place after all these 130 years. So. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make a way on back. And, uh, just uh, interesting to see these old sections of uh, stoke mining right here. Uh, very rare, very rare. So, okay, and uh, and if somebody was so inclined, they could keep going down this uh, long passageway. It stretches for oh, at least a good 900 feet. Uh, you have to go up and over a lot of shale piles and stuff. It would be doable, but not today. So, and there's actually some more drill rod, drill marks right there. So you could see they were uh, every time they were drilling up. So, okay, and we'll go ahead and make a way on back.